we'll see the fourth question starting from negative 1 times 5 write various products showing some pattern to show that negative 1 times negative 1 gives 1 so we'll start off with negative 1 times 5 1 into 5 gives 5 as the signs are opposite we get minus 5 now we'll decrease the values from 5 that is negative 1 times 4 gives negative 4 this can be written as negative 5 plus 1 will decrease by another value that means negative 1 times 3 this gives negative 3 this can be written as negative 4 plus 1 will decrease by another value that is negative 1 times 2 that is equals to negative 2 this can be written as negative 3 plus 1 decreasing by another value this gives negative 1 times 1 that is equals to negative 1 this can be written as negative 2 plus 1 decreasing by another value we get negative 1 times 0 that is equals to 0 this can be written as Negative one plus one, decreasing by yet another value. Negative one times negative one. One into one gives one, and as the signs are similar, we get plus one. This can be written as zero from the previous value plus one. So following this pattern. we get negative 1 times negative 1 is equals to 1 we can also see that 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 therefore we can say that negative 1 times negative 1 is equals to 